One week after becoming eligible, about 900,000 children ages 5 to 11 will have received their first vaccine dose by the end of today. Another 700,000 already have appointments to get the shot, but there is a long way to go with 28 million kids in that age group now eligible. I spoke about all this with the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, and asked her if as more kids get vaccinated, she foresees a time when masks can come off in school. We have over 95% of our schools open for full in-person learning. We still have about 85% of our counties that are in high or substantial community transmission. And so while I'm encouraged that numbers are coming down, I would say as our children are starting to get vaccinated just a week into this program to continue to scale up our vaccinations for these children and to um, not yet get complacent with our mitigation and prevention strategies that are keeping our children in school. So that means kids should continue to wear masks even if they're vaccinated? And I would say masks are for now, but we they are not forever. We know that Pfizer is making the case that its uh, vaccine, its booster is safe for virtually everyone. But we keep hearing experts who are saying it really hasn't been proven that there's a need for, for most healthy people for boosters. How do you respond to that? We've actively reviewed the data for those who got J&J &J, as well as those who got Pfizer and Moderna. And we have recommendations for a lot of eligible populations now to receive boosters. So we would really encourage those people to actively go out and get their boosters now. And in the meantime, Meantime, we are actually now reviewing the data that Pfizer has just submitted. There are two pills that have emerged from trials with very positive results. You see antiviral pills as to sort of filling this gap between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated? Um, I am really excited about both of these as being another tool in our armamentarium against COVID-19 disease, but I would not at all see it as a replacement instead of a vaccine. I would say this is a rescue if, this, if people have um, not responded to the vaccine or if they um, got a breakthrough infection. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.